6.34 is the time. 85% of newly hired Walmart employees are Delano residents. The grand opening for that store is scheduled for August 14th. Elsewhere, one person is hospitalized with serious burns this morning after flames ripped through an apartment complex in northeast Bakersfield. The fire started just before midnight on Eric Street, and firefighters say the blaze spread to neighboring apartments within minutes. Investigators have not released the cause. Another fire started in this neighborhood just last month after officials say a man dumped smoking materials into his trash can. And it looks like one last hurdle remains for California's high-speed rail authority before breaking ground. The authority was expected to start the $69 billion bullet train project last month, but now the high-speed rail officials believe it will take a few more weeks. We're ready to go. Basically, there's one last legal challenge out there, and we're waiting for that challenge to be cleared, which we hope will happen by the end of this month. But we're really on the verge of breaking ground. Our uh, organization is just about to sign the contract with the contractor, um, and right now it's more logistical issues than anything else. The authority still has to acquire 300 parcels of land for the 29 miles of track. The first part is expected to be built between Fresno and Merced. The San Francisco to L.A. portion is set to be finished in 2029. The California State University System is unveiling a new plan to offer online courses between campuses. The cross-campus program allows students at any CSU to have access to online classes at other CSUs. And students say that having access to more online courses will be a great benefit. I think it is a good idea. I think it'll help students graduate faster so they don't have to wait till the class is actually offered here. Let's say you're taking like some sort of different class that's not allowed at CSUB. It'll be a great opportunity to take it online. 36 courses are being offered in the fall and students who are already enrolled can use the course program this quarter and students starting after the fall quarter will have access later in the school year. Administrators recommend that students speak with an advisor before signing up online to make sure their classes give them the credits they need.